So Linux has a basic calculator already installed in it, which is also called as bench calculator. And there are three ways to use that calculator. And the first one is direct or interactive mode. Second one is using shell's pipe function. And the third one is through a script file. So let's see these methods one by one. We will see this last method in the next week's video. So to in uh, this week's video, we will just see these two methods to use this bench calculator. Let's open terminal and let's see how will we use them through both these methods. First of all, let's learn how to use the first method of using bench calculator, which is the uh, direct mode or the interactive mode. So for that, open your terminal and then write the command BC, which is short for bench calculator. Press enter and then you will see some lines like this. This is this means that your calculator has been launched successfully. Now you can uh, take some variable, maybe x equals to 10, y equals to 20, and then z equals to uh, x plus y, right? And then you can just print z on screen by writing z, and the answer is 30, the sum of 10 and 20, which we just did here, right? Now you must be wondering, that why are we doing this? Why can't we just add, if you want to add two variables, why don't we do them directly in the terminal? Uh, so, so let's see why are we doing this. First of all, to exit this bench calculator, you have to press quit. You have to type quit and then press enter. So let's see why are we doing this. For that, let's try to add two variables directly in the terminal. Let's say I'm taking x equals to 10, y equals to 20, and then let's take another variable z equals to dollar x plus dollar y so you uh, put dollar sign in front of every before every variable right whenever you want to access some variable you put dollar sign and then press enter okay now i can echo them on the screen dollar z equals to so now you can you see what, what what happened here it's 10 plus 20 it's not the output not 30 so they it's not the calculation right so what actually happened is in Linux, the, the problem is in Linux, every in, in the terminal, every uh, variable is treated as a string. So this 10 is treated as a string, not a number, right? So when it's not uh, treated as a number or, or as an integer, it's not added. The calculation is not performed. Rather, just two strings are concatenated and stored in Z. So just 10 plus 20 is the concatenation of two strings, which is $x plus $y right so this is the problem so in shell the variables are only strings they are not considered as numbers so we cannot perform calculation so for that we need bench calculator and we just learned how to use it to start it we write bc the short form of bench calculator press enter and then you can perform any calculation you can directly add two numbers for example like this and it will give you the answer right away you can use this or you can use uh, several variables just like this which I just demonstrated here so you can do that this was the first method of uh, using bench calculator now let's see what is the second method which was actually the uh, which was actually using through the pipe function shells pipe function so for that we actually use that method directly here we don't go inside the bench calculator we use it directly here let's see how will we do it so let's say I have a variable x equals to 10 maybe y equals to 40 and then I want to add them both right so for that what we do is we write maybe z equals to z equals to dollar dollar sign before it echo and then we will write our string in here, which we want to add. So $x plus $y. And then we will pass this string to the sh uh, bench calculator through the pipe function. This is the pipe function. You can see this uh, character on, in your keyboard um, somewhere near your enter key or and above your shift key. You can see it there. Space. And then you will write the bench calculator. That's how we will do it. So now this string, th these numbers, these, uh, sorry, these variables are not treated as strings. They are, uh, this 
whole string dollar x plus dollar y is actually sent to bench calculator through this pipe function and the calculation is performed there and returned to z so whatever the answer was was actually displayed here which is uh, using echo we saved it in the z uh, variable right now let's display z on screen so now you can see that this is no concatenation of a string this is actually the calculation performed through the bench calculator so this is how you use bench calculator directly in the terminal uh, without going inside the bench calculator and using shell's pipe function so you can do anything else here using uh, this particular syntax so keep this syntax in your mind and then your problem will be solved let's perform some basic calculations So if you want to calculate the square root of something, you can write it like this, right, and press enter. There you go, you got the square root of 25, which is this. Now uh, let's do the power function. So if you want the power of, let's say, 5. Right. Let's say 5 power 2 square of 5. You can do this. There you go. So this hat operator is actually uh, the power operator. It serves for the it serves the purpose of calculating the power of something. There is one more interesting thing thing which is called a scale function. Let's see how to use it. Let's first of all, let's use scale inside bench calculator so you, that you can understand it better. Let's, so let's say we calculate the square root of something which is, which is not a whole square, right? So maybe I will calculate the square root of 30. It's, it doesn't sum up to a whole square. So if I do that, the answer is 5. But actually the answer is not 5. I, the answer is 5 point something because 25 is the square, uh, is the square of 5. So square root... Of 25 is 5 not 30 so if the square we are calculating the square root of 30 the answer should be 5 point something so something is wrong here you can see that now to fix this thing what we can do is we write scale equals to and then we can define what we want the scale to be this scale is actually the des number of decimal position right how many numbers do we want after the decimal point it is actually that so if we set scale equals to 5 and then we perform this calculation again, you can see the difference now. So the answer is correct now, 5.47 and whatever. So the, we can, you can see there are 5 decimal points. Uh, there are 5 numbers after the decimal point. So that's how you use it inside the bench calculator. Now let's see if we want to use uh, scale variable directly inside the terminal, how will we use it? So for that, So that is how scale is used in this method. So you use the semicolon to separate two commands, right? You use semicolon, you set the scale first, and then you write your second command here. So this is the method of using scale in this uh, pipe function method. So that was it for today. I hope you learned something. Hope to see you next week.